guys, Lizbeth here. I think my head's gonna be missing for most of the video, but basically, it's kind of a new type of video. It's like a declutter slash replace, not just a declutter. I was looking at the pans I have, and this one that I always, I always wash by hand, I forgot one time, and I actually put it in the dishwasher only once. I'm not sure if it's showing up on my camera, but the non-stick came off and just a little dot. And I was so watching this dot because I knew some people are very against non-stick. I like to use non-stick, but I don't like to use it once it starts coming apart or starts coming off. I don't think that's a good thing. Well, I, what's so funny is I'm watching and watching and watching and watching. Maybe I'll sit down. Maybe my head will be in the video. So I'm watching this one little tiny spot, not paying any attention to these other pans that I've been putting in the dishwasher for 17, 18 years. They came, they came with the marriage. And one time I'm washing the pan by hand because it didn't fit in the dishwasher. Uh, pay no attention to all the stuff I didn't clean back there. Uh, and I realized that a lot of the nonstick has come off, has come off these, so I needed to change my pans. I needed to buy different ones. So I thought about what do I need, how many do I need, and I realized I don't need three of these pots. I do have a stock pot if I need a super large one. I do have an all metal tiny one, it's probably a quart, and it's got metal handles so I don't use it. We had used it for like the grill that we used to have, and I thought if I ever need to cook something in the fireplace, I need something with metal handles. So I do have two rarely used, a big pot and a small pot, uh, in another drawer stashed away because I only use them once a year or less. So this is my conglomeration. I have a skillet. I have, I believe it's a three quart, a two quart, a one quart. The lids that I use for the skillet and this is for the stock pot, so I'll be keeping that. And then the three lids that go with the various pans. Well, I don't need that much. I don't cook that much. So when I realized that I'm going to have to purchase something new, I really thought about what size do I like, what do I need to use. I did consider ones that were not non-stick, but all the handles I found were metal. And I like, I know after many decades of cooking, I'm just gonna grab the handle because I'm used to it being something I can grab. And I do, there would, I would burn my hand so many times on those other handles. Well, I went to, it's called the Jefferson Outlet Mall. It's up in Ohio between Cincinnati and Columbus. And there was a Corningware place there, and they had these Revere polished nonstick. And they were like $25 for the pots, $29 for the skillet, and they were on sale for $9 each. But they didn't have lids. So I thought, I'm going to try them. They're $9 each. And here's another thing. I have a glass top stove, a ceramic glass stove top. The bottom of your skillets have to be flat. And you wouldn't believe how many skillets now have ridges and uh, like the bottom is not flat. I really had a hard time finding ones where it was super smooth. So that really cut down on my options. I chose this Revere. Sounds like I've never had a Revere pots or pans before. Sounds like a good name. So let's see. First. I'm replacing my other skillet with this one. I kind of like it. The sides are a little bit higher. Let's see if this lid fits. Um, it fits like right on top. It doesn't, it doesn't slide in like this part I think should kind of slide into the pan. It does not, but I think it is usable. And very rarely do I actually put a, a lid on a skillet. 
So this is great. For the saucepans, I thought, you know, it's the two quart is what I use. And I always pull out the two quart first and I always thought I'd love to have another two quart, but I usually go up a size and it's way too much pan for what I need. There's only two of us that live here, so I don't make big portions or anything. And like I said, I do have a stock pot. Um, we have the Thanksgiving celebration where there's like 15 to 20 people. So I do have that available. So what I chose are is a two quart and I got two of them. So let's see if the two quart lid fits. Because these did not come. And I believe this is the two quart size. And it fits perfectly. And I don't need a, two lids because I rare, like I said, I rarely put lids on my pots. Like if I'm doing rice, well, with my diverticulitis, I can't eat rice any longer. And my husband is like, don't make it just for me. I don't need the carbs anyway. So I think that this is going to work and having one lid for both of them, I've never put two lids on two pots at the same time. Yes, I don't cook that much. So here is my new declutter slash replace. I have a pan or a skillet for a skillet. Three pans are being replaced by two pans in my favorite size. I'm reusing two of the lids and passing on the other two lids of the skillets that I'm not going to, or excuse me, of the pots I'm not going to use. So let me know if you like this kind of declutter where I don't just declutter, but I show, you know, if I need to replace what I replace it with. I really spent a lot of time really thinking about what I needed. So they have boxes of pots and pans and baking stuff or whatever that you can purchase and then per pot it's less but then what do you do with all your extra pots and pans? Do you just leave them in your cupboard? Uh, these things because I got them on sale for well it was $9.99 it was better to buy the single pots and single skillets than to buy the box. I had considered buying the box, taking out what I needed and donating the rest because a lot of times if you buy just a couple single skillet or single pots and a skillet you've paid for that box so you really got to look around and see what's going to work best for you uh, I'm excited it did cost me $30 but I did get to reuse the lids of what I needed I do get to pass on this much which is a little bit more than what I've uh, replaced it with uh, I, I'm not sure how to discard these because, you know, if I'm not going to use them as skillets and pots, I don't know if anybody in, like, Goodwill or Salvation Army would. I'm thinking I might, just for the sense that some people use them to, like, make candle wax and stuff like that. So, thanks for joining me. Let me know if you're interested in like declutter replaces or if this is not really your cup of tea and I will talk with you later. Bye.